Hello and welcome back everybody, this is Mahmoud Said with you again. In this video, we're going to be learning about how to create buttons in Kivi. So let's get started with our new video. So first of all, in the importing section, we're just going to add one thing. We're going to add from dot button. So here we're going to um, import the place that we're going to get the button option from. So we're going to say from button import button. Don't forget while we're always importing um, anything uh, in Kivi, we always have to remember to make the last word, um, like the last name of the file, we have to make it capital. So button. And now uh, here is where a lot of things change. Uh, so first of all, this is what uh, we're going to learn how to do in this video. We're going to learn how to uh, create a button that says submit. And when we submit, we're going to get what we submitted over here. So yeah. First of all, um, the same thing as the last video, we're just going to you uh, say everything that makes our grid layout work. But we're also going to create a new layout. Uh, layout. We're going to make it, um, we're going to name it with self.inside. So here we're going to create a grid inside a grid so we can create, um, we can create the button. So of course, yeah, we can, uh, here in Kivio, we can't create um, a button in with um, other widgets. So if you try doing it without self dot inside, nothing is going to work for the button. So we're going to say um, self dot uh, inside equal grid layout. We're going to say what is our grid layout? We're going to say we only want two columns or more if you want. And then self dot inside instead of only here in our second video self dot first name. So here we're going to say self dot name. So self dot inside dot add widget label same thing. And here below it's not going to change for the second line, but the first and third line they're always going to change. So yeah. We're going to just say uh, self dot inside. We're going to create this in our inside grid, in the grid inside of our uh, main grid, and then um, we're going to say self dot name to tell the computer that self dot name is equal to a text input. So then self dot inside dot add widget. We're going to add this widget. Same thing for the um, third. And same thing for the second and third. Uh, we're just going to do the same thing. So let's just see what happens if we change it to if we change the self dot inside. I'm just going to make it self dot add widget. Let's rerun. Here you see that everything here works nothing like. It's so strange, everything doesn't work properly, you just see the button works, but it doesn't work properly. So you have to say self.inside. Uh, self.inside. Self.inside. Now we're going to run it again, see what happens if it worked properly and here it's working properly. So yeah, and the third line, same thing. And uh, like everything you wanna do, last name, email, anything, it's going to be the same way. And yeah, if you're not familiar with uh, what multi-line equal false is, um, that your email, your name can only be one line. So now self.add widget, uh, self.add widget, self.inside. Um, now, after that, here we're going to create our button. So we're going to say self.submit equal button. 
so you see here sub dot submit equal button text um, equal submit font size is equal to 40 uh, we can just change it to let's say just 20 so there's going to be a big difference uh, stop and rerun here you see that it doesn't change it it only changes the text so you see here the text is so is small but we want to make it smaller we want to see what's going to happen we're just going to make it one I know it's going to be really hard to see it's going to be unseeable so you see this little little dot here it's the text that's why uh, that's what happens when we made it that small so now let's like uh, let's change the text from submit to continue if you're like making an app or something uh, you can just say um, submit or you can say submit continue or next uh, like if you're creating a form an app form or something uh, you can do that next if the first page is for something then there's another page um, you can say continue if there's an app for login or something or if you're submitting some details or anything so we're just going to see what happens when we call it next you see here it looks uh, it looks good and you see here it says next and then and I don't know if any of you realized but when I run it you're going to see here that um, it prints in our terminal name equal nothing because I don't type anything and last name and email so if I just change the uh, if I said here Muhammad So let's just say coding for kids at gmail.com uh, you see what's going to happen when we press enter you're going to see the details that I did they're printed in the terminal so yeah uh, let's see how we did that I'm going to say um, here self dot submit dot bind so on press and uh, on underscore press is equal to self dot pressed and then self dot add widget self dot submit the same thing we did um, everywhere above so yeah what did we do with our main layout and our inside layout with our inside layout um, we you, we used our inside layout to create um, our email our name and our last name and our submit or next button it can be on the main place so it's going to be one grid inside of the other uh, so you can see it properly if so it works properly so here self um, dot submit now we're going to define pressed so yeah uh, we're going to use self and instance we're going to say name equal self dot name dot text so what name is we here said what is name what is last name and also what is um, email and here print we just uh, we're here we're going to print um, our details so like let me show you what's going to happen uh, here if I just bring that here um, if I say anything if I'm going to say anything here you're going to see it prints over here so if you're just going to do anything with that data you just want to store it in a file or anything that's what you're going to do and why when I do it why does that happen uh, some of you are going to say why when I just don't enter anything and press next you see nothing is entered um, if I didn't put this last piece of code it would it would have give you an error um, but here we're going um, so what we did is we said self dot name dot text is equal to nothing so in default this uh, it's going to be nothing it's going to be normal nothing inside it so yeah and then the same way 
um, define class and we're going to return our grid and everything we did there inside our grid so that's it for this video i hope you guys um enjoyed watching this video and if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel bye